Welcome back, friends. Today we're diving into a soil secret that's hiding in your pantry, and it's all about rice. Yes, rice. You may have already heard of rice water being used in the garden, but what if I told you that the rice itself, when prepared in the right way, can become one of the most powerful tools to attract and multiply earthworms in your soil? In this video, I'm going to show you how micronized rice, finely blended and softened, can create mega worm populations that will, in turn, transform your garden into a fertile, thriving ecosystem. We all know earthworms are the backbone of healthy soil. They aerate the ground, improve water infiltration, and most importantly, leave behind worm castings, those little nuggets of natural fertilizer that are packed with plant-available nutrients. Worms are often called nature's plows, and for good reason. A soil rich in worms is a soil rich in life. But here's the challenge. Worms need a consistent, rich food source, and not just any organic matter will do. This is where micronized rice comes in. Normally, when you cook rice and pour away the cloudy water, you're discarding a nutrient-rich solution full of starches and trace minerals. Gardeners have discovered that worms absolutely love this rice water because it feeds the microbes in the soil, which then creates a buffet for the worms. But why stop there? Instead of throwing away the softened rice itself, imagine blending it into a fine slurry, what we can call micronized rice, and then adding that directly into your soil. The worms will devour it and the microbial life will skyrocket. So how does it work? When you micronize rice, you're essentially pre-digesting it for the worms. By breaking the grains into tiny particles, you make it easy for microbes to colonize the rice quickly, breaking it down into compounds worms can process. It's like turning a tough steak into a smoothie. It goes down easier and gets absorbed faster. The result? Faster decomposition, more microbial activity, and an irresistible worm food that draws them in droves. So, adding micronized rice to your soil or worm bin is actually really simple. First, start by soaking a cup of rice in water until it's nice and soft. Then just toss the rice and some of that soaking water into a blender and pulse it until you've got a smooth slurry. This mixture can be poured directly into your garden beds, or hey, you can add it to your compost pile as well. If you've got a worm bin, you'll notice the worms will swarm it within just a few hours. The key thing here is moderation. You definitely don't want to add too much at once because, you know, excess starch can ferment and create an anaerobic environment. So a small scoop here and there is plenty to feed the soil life and keep your worm populations thriving. The beauty of this method is that you're not just feeding worms. You're actually building a living soil. As the rice particles break down, they encourage beneficial fungi and bacteria to multiply. These microbes are what worms really crave, and by feeding them, you're indirectly feeding the worms too. This creates a positive feedback loop, more microbes, more worms, more worm castings, and ultimately, healthier plants. Now, you might be wondering, why rice and not another grain? Rice is uniquely suited because of its high starch content, and honestly, how quickly it breaks down when soaked. Unlike wheat or corn, Rice softens into this gel-like texture that microbes absolutely love, and it doesn't take much effort to micronize either. Plus, rice is inexpensive, widely available, and, well, it's probably just sitting in your pantry waiting to be used. Think of it as a low-cost soil amendment that gives you maximum return. Another fascinating benefit of using micronized rice is how it impacts plant roots. Worm castings produced after digesting this food source are particularly rich in humic acids and plant growth hormones. Gardeners who've tried this method report noticeable boosts in plant vigor, deeper root systems, and improved resilience against pests and diseases. It's not just about feeding worms, it's about supercharging your entire garden ecosystem. Imagine this. Instead of spending money on expensive fertilizers or soil conditioners, you're using a simple, ancient food source in a new way. Your worms become an on-site fertilizer factory, working night and day to enrich your soil. This is regenerative gardening at its best, harnessing natural cycles and waste-free methods to grow abundant, healthy crops. So the next time you cook rice, don't toss away the leftovers. 
Turn it into micronized worm food and watch your soil come alive. Your garden will thank you with stronger plants, better harvests, and a thriving underground network of earthworms working on your behalf. If you found this tip as exciting as I did, give it a try and let me know in the comments how your garden responds. I'd love to hear your results. And if you enjoy discovering these natural gardening secrets, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of gardeners who believe in working with nature, not against it. Until next time, happy gardening and happy worm keeping.